Hello everybody and welcome to my channel 1111 Butterfly Effect where transformation happens, knowledge is power, and the divine is at work. Thank you all for joining my divine spirit and I here at the table for a mid-month divine connection check-in. Yes, uh, it's that time of the month. <laughs> yes, and I'm not talking about that time of the month. I'm talking about this time of the month for us to do a mid-month divine connection check-in to see what's going on in this divine connection uh, between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Um... We need some in-depth look. We need to have an in-depth look, and this is going to give us that in-depth look to see what's going on between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Where they're at, what is the mid-month status? Because we are basically at the mid-month of April 2020. Just moving right along through this quarantine, aren't we now? And uh, the messages are going to be received through the Quantum Oracle. This deck is by Sandra Ann Taylor. It's a beautiful deck. Great, very uh, clear messages that come through. And we are going to ask for some confirmation clarity using one of my two very own decks. This one is the InSync Twin Flame Connection Oracle Deck. This is the prototype of the deck. Uh, the two decks are uh, in uh, progress, going through their illustration stages and uh, finishing the final details of the guidebooks for each deck. Anyway, this is for clarity confirmation. The InSync Twin Flame Connection Oracle Deck, one of my very own. And we're going to get a final word from the goddesses. Yes, our final word is coming from the Goddess Guidance Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue. So, let's get started on this mid-month, mid-month of April, Divine Connection check-in see uh you know what the status is of the connection uh those it seems that uh, there are many that are a part of this collective that i channel for that are on the brink of union that uh divine masculines have gotten to a point where they are ready to communicate ready to come forward ready to move forward in this divine connection, uh, ready to you know, take the next steps of ending their cycles, their current cycle, so that the new cycle, the next cycle can begin. So on that side note, let's begin. We did some saging and some pre-shuffle, but we're gonna shuffle a little bit more just to warm up the cards for this moment in time while we ask my Divine Spirit and the Quantum Oracle to join us here at the table and offer up this Divine Twin Flame Connection <clears throat> some mid-month direction, right? Yes. For this mid-month Divine Connection check-in, Please, my Divine Spirit and the Oracle, the Quantum Oracle, please offer up this Twin Flame Connection some guidance and direction for this mid-month point in time. Cards are feeling good. Uh, things are moving right along, uh, falling into place, one thing after another. Even though there's some glitches and there's some delays, um, there's still some unknowns, <laughs> right? 
But it seems like, it appears, it feels like that this twin flame connection is moving forward. Forward on the divine path. You know, following the divine plan that is in play right now. Right? The football coaches have spoken, you know. The team players know the play that's about to be played, right? Yeah. Hut, hut, hut. One, two. Hut, hut. Right? All right. Cards are feeling warm. They're saying cut the deck. We're not dropping the cards today. We're going to take the top three. Let's see what's up. Energy, joyous, fun. Letting go. Intention. Hidden motivation. And, of course, the bottom, overall energy, bottom of the deck card is intuition and manifestation. What is it that you want, right? What is it that you want? So, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. What we have here is... Current circumstances, action, and possibility, or past, present, future. Uh, you know, what is the challenge? How the challenge needs to be met, and the outcome. However you want to look at it. Current circumstances, action, future possibility. Past, present, future. Or the challenge, current challenge, current meeting point, right? How to move forward with this challenge or situation, how to overcome it, and the outcome. However this resonates for you is how the story is going to unfold for you. But for the collective, this is what we're looking at right here. Okay? And since we're all in a quarantine, I'm thinking that this is, you know, more uh, the past, current, present action, and future possibility. Because everybody's on quarantine. I don't know how much, you know, carnival rides that people are going on right now. I think the amusement parks in Disneyland are shut down. So that's what it seems to be. A lot of things took place in the past. It was fun. Fun times, right? Well, let's see what the card itself says. Energy. Joyous fun. Happiness every day. This could be current circumstances, but let's just see how this reads out, huh? An excited family gets ready to enter a light-filled amusement park, signaling the increase of joyous energy in your life. In the past, it's been fun, huh? Doing whatever you want, no consequence. It could be as simple as a happy vacation coming up, or it could herald a new relationship bringing more fun and excitement. So, how how does this resonate for you? Past or current circumstances, right? Planning a vacation? Getting ready to take a vacation? You're on a vacation? I think we're all on a vacation, and hopefully not a permanent vacation, right? Being on quarantine and lockdown. Again, it could be as simple as a happy vacation coming up, or it could herald a new relationship bringing more fun and excitement. Perhaps a lighthearted friendship will usher in some more social activity. You know, something is in the making 
something's being planned and cooked up, huh? Current, current circumstances? You may be engaging in interesting pursuits that bring a sense of happiness into your daily life. When you choose to have some fun, your bliss will expand. Getting into something that you enjoy will open up your heart to all the other joys that are already in your life. So join that dance group, chorus, tennis league, or whatever fun thing you've been thinking about. Dance lessons, right? Been thinking about dance lessons. Choose to increase the happiness in your environment and in your attitude. After all, each day is yours to create. Find and embrace the joy that's available now. And wonderful new adventures are sure to come your way. Now is the time that we are in quarantine for you to learn about yourself. Choose to increase the happiness in your environment and your attitude, right? Each day is yours to create. Plan for your new future, right? Because your old life is done. You know, truly it seems, as it appears, life will never go back to how it was. Getting into something that you enjoy will open your heart up to all other joys. Ready to come in or already in your life you just don't see. Uh, every moment of my life is special. Joyous, joyous appreciation is my constant choice. I let my spirit sing. You know, let your heart sing with joy. And that's what you will get in return. What you put out there is what you're going to get back. What you, what frequency you vibrate at is what you're going to attract. Right? So, if this isn't the case right now, then relax and look at this as an opportunity a golden opportunity to have fun with your family for one or plan the vacation you want to take when you're done when we're done with this quarantine with your divine partner with or without kids if you have them or if you don't right moving forward Letting go. Releasing attachment. You know, it's definitely something that needs to be done for you to, you know, let to, for your heart to sing with joy, you need to let go of anything that's holding you back. Right? People, place, or thing. Okay? You know? Distractions. People, place, or thing. See, these dogs are pulling her away from this obviously divine open door. They're trying to distract her from it. All different ways. But guess what? The divine has the strongest pull. Because it's the divine and it's part of the plan. Not these people, place, or things that are distracting you. Not these closed doors that might look good. No. So, you know, the action that needs to take place for the joyous fun to continue... Is to let go. Let go of that that's not serving you anymore. Let go of those person, place, or things that are trying to control you. So that you can move forward in this divine connection. Divine feminine, divine masculine. So that you can 
be walking and living how you're supposed to be, even though there's some unknowns there, okay? It's going to ultimately bring you manifestations. And what is that? Well, it would be the honoring path. The sacred temple. Optimism. Sky's the limit in all four directions. I mean, it's in the cards right here. This is what we're talking about. What is your what is it you're manifesting? What is your heart's desire? What is your what is your focus on divine feminine, divine masculine? If it's the divine plan, you know, the divine plan is well lit, okay? Unless you really fall into these distractions or beliefs that the grass is greener on the other side, you know, the pole is strong. If you're connected with the divine, your divine path is well lit up, okay? going to lead you to where you need to be. Truly. And that brings us to what is the possibility? In, what is the possibility? End result. Outcome. Future. Hidden motivations is the card. Let's see what it has to say. Smiling woman stands with her hands held over her heart center. Below is an image of children playing in front of a beautiful home, a vision of her deepest desires. Yet something is hidden behind the heavy drapes around her. On a purely practical level, this could indicate an important decision or situation that you don't have all the information about. Be patient. The knowledge will come and you will be able to act. So don't be in such a hurry to look behind the curtain. Okay? Divine plan is unfolding and that curtain that all will be revealed upon divine timing. Like this woman, you may have some high ideals and lofty goals in mind, yet there are hidden thoughts and issues that are behind the image you present to the world. This card is telling you to look within for any unknown motivations that may be influencing your energy and your plans. Perhaps you're looking for love, yet because of past hurts, you're shut down to protect yourself. Or you may want more money, yet you doubt yourself and expect to fail. Or even think you don't deserve abundance. Know that your conflicting intentions, even if they are well hidden, are a powerful force to be in the manifestation of your dreams. The pull of emotional history rides with those intentions, making them even stronger than the desires you have in mind. Don't let the past take you back. Okay? In other words... It's time to clear out those conflicting, limiting thoughts. This card reminds you the universe is abundant and you are deserving and capable of making your dreams come true. Dreams do come true. Here's what we can say. I let go of doubt and limitations. I have the power to achieve all that I desire. The world is our oyster, divine feminine and divine masculine, and the sooner we believe that, the sooner we'll be in union. The sooner we believe that we're worthy of this grand divine plan, the sooner it will be smooth and easy.
that, you know, having the knowledge we have and using it to our advantage, if you want to say it that way, but really it's, you know, to stay on path, the divine plan, the part of the divine plan is total abundance. It's also about mission, okay? And mission is about helping raise the vibration of humanity. And that begins with us. When we raise our vibration on an individual level, we align with the divine, the divine, and we attract our divine partner. Then once we go into union, we vibrate at an even higher level. And we're, you know, emitting and beaming love and light left and right and north and south and east and west, all four directions, right? We got that card. Sacred temple, optimism. Oh, there goes the plan. Four directions, angels of four directions. Yeah. So. Let go of any doubt and limitations, okay? You have the power to achieve all your heart's desires, divine masculine, divine feminine. And if you're on this twin flame journey and you're in a divine connection, your heart's desire will be the divine plan. The bonus to that divine plan is the sacred union. Okay? With your divine partner. If you're lucky. But a lot has to be done before that sacred union can take place. And, you know, we're all, for all many, you're almost there. It's, it's happening. You just got to get that last bit of bravery and strength and confidence to take those steps forward. You know, divine masculine, divine feminine, if you're mirroring each other, look at your individual story. You know your story. So look at yourself. And you'll see what your divine partner is mirroring. Strengths and weaknesses. Okay? Let's see if we can't get some clarity confirmation. Confirmation clarity from the InSync Twin Flame Connection deck. My very own one of two decks that I am getting ready to go to print with. I'm getting excited. And the more and closer I get to getting these published and printed but in the meantime we're using these prototype deck decks and these decks are <clears throat> scoring out at about 98.9 percent accuracy on the confirmation clarity uh, of these messages so I'm liking what I'm seeing uh, thank you my divine spirit for helping get these cards uh, developed, thought out, planned out, guidebooks writ are being finished, finalized, illustration is going on. There's a lot involved. And let me tell you, if these cards weren't, you know, offering up the divine messages, you know, there would be no time wasted on them. Truly. But Divine Spirit is the inspiration, and we're moving forward with the cards. So on that note, cards are ready. Let's cut the deck. And see what cards pop out. Top three cards. Crossroads. 53, that breaks down to an 8. What's next? 
Unawakened, 14. That's a 5. That's change. You know? You haven't let go? Well, if you let go, surrender to the plan, follow the divine plan, you will awaken. You will change. Okay? It just happens that way. Last card. Cycles. Eight. Indeed, you know, if we get to this point here, we let go and move forward and follow the divine plan. You know, we're going to let go and that's going to end some cycles so that Old cycles end and new cycles begin. You know, and we have two eights here. This unawakened card, this unawakened person, place or thing. Okay, we're going to go with person, divine feminine, divine masculine, however this fits. Okay, that's changing. The unawakened is awakened. I think that's going to be the title. The unawakened has awakened, has woke, right? <laughs> However we need to say that. And, you know, new cycles are beginning. Transformation is taking place. That's eight Right? <clears throat> you know? Taking charge is what's happening. Someone's taking charge of, of, you know, responsibility and taking charge of themselves on this journey. Finally! Yeah! <laughs> and what's the overall energy at the bottom of the deck? Fresh start. Another eight. Okay? So we have three eights, eight, eight, and eight. Big time, right? Very interesting indeed. Let's see what eight, eight, eight is going to offer as a message, right? Very interesting. When you see that, that is a sign that you need to check on. Eight, eight, eight. This is a very auspicious sign of complete financial support from the universe money is flowing in your direction woohoo get ready the stimulus is uh, happening right let's get some stimulation going on here woohoo nice yeah <laughs> i know i know anyway very nice indeed. This is a very auspicious sign of complete financial support from the universe. Money is flowing in your direction. Eight, eight, eight. Huh. Interesting indeed. So, let uh put this over here. Fresh start. And, uh... Let's see if we can't get a final word of confirmation from the goddesses, okay? Is there anything that we need to be aware of or unblock to reach our fresh start? Hmm? To reap our abundance, that 888 abundance. What did we say about that? <clears throat> Complete financial support from the universe. Money is flowing in your direction. And a fresh start is beginning. Hmm? With an understanding, which is a 10, okay? And new beginning. 10. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay, thank you, my divine spirit and the goddess guidance oracle. Please join us here at the table and offer us up a final word of direction and insight, confirmation into this 
mid-month divine twin flame connection check-in. Yes. What is being manifested here? What is <clears throat> taking place between the divine feminine and the divine masculine at this mid-month point of April 2020? As it looks, you know, yes, there's some crossroads, but I think the crossroads have been crossed. The decisions have been made, okay? The unawakened has awakened. Change is taking place. 14 breaks down to a 5, and that's change, right? Old cycles are ending, so new cycles can begin. Another 8. <laughs> and what is that new, new cycle? Well, that's a fresh start. Number 8. Okay, here we go. Thank you, my divine spirit and the goddess guidance oracle. Please give us a final word for this mid-month, <clears throat> excuse me, mid-month twin flame connection check-in. Yes, let's see what I'm basically, mid-month divine twin flame connection check-in. So this is a final word confirmation for today, tonight's message, whenever it is you are listening. Rhiannon, sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. And if you're really walking at your in your higher self, you're a master manifester, an instantaneous manifester so be careful careful what you think and say okay because you're a master manifester things are coming your way okay Rhiannon thank you my divine spirit and the goddess oracle any other advice or final word for this twin flame connection and the direction that it's going in for the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Give us some confirmation, please, for uh, the awake unawakened has awakened. That's too many. And the cycles. So what cycles are ending and beginning? <clears throat> so first we'll go with the unawakened. Oh, there's my Beyonce card. I sold undying love. The love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. So regardless, divine feminine, divine masculine, where you're at, what your circumstances are, and what you think is going on, this is what's truly going on. If you are truly a divine feminine or divine masculine on a twin flame journey, and this confirms that union is imminent, okay? The action is undying love. The love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation, okay? Last card, final word for this mid-month twin flame connection check-in. Thank you, my divine spirit and the goddess's guidance, Oracle Deck. Oracle, please, offers up that last card of confirmation for this Divine Twin Flame connection. Thank you, please. One more card to close this message and bring this understanding to completion and bring us to a fresh start. What is it that we need to focus on to... Begin this new fresh start. Thank you, my divine spirit. Matt, fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Hmm. Well, it should as a fresh for things to go begin at a fresh start. For a fresh start to begin. You know, it needs to be just. 
and uh, respectful and, you know, direct and all that other stuff, right? No bullshit. No BS. Excuse me. Right? No mucking around. You want a fresh start, you know, you have to end certain things. You have to let go of certain things. You have to be compassionate about certain things. Bottom of the deck, Quan Yin, compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. That's beautiful. That's compassion. Right? And for this fresh start to begin, for this honoring path to take, for you to be on this honoring path, this fresh start to begin, you know, some manifestation needs to take place. You need to align with the divine. Align with your higher self. You have to be in mission. You have to surrender to the journey. You know? You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Rhiannon, right? Let's see what she has to say, Goddess Rhiannon. A large part of my power stems from my connection to animals and nature. If you've been indoors too long, you can recapture your personal power by simply stepping outside. Ground yourself. Put your bare feet on the ground. Do some earthing. This simple motion will do you a world of good in reawakening your sleeping, magical, spiritual nature. Allow the light of the sun, the moon, and the stars to stir ancient memories that may be dormant. Recall the times of your magical abilities and then put them to use immediately for the good of the entire planet. When you're walking in your higher self, when you're connected with divine, boy, you are just... You're shining, you're vibrating at a high level, and it's attractive, okay? Res resume the mission that was once aborted through the misdeeds of past leaders. Take up your spiritual arms and move with swift speed into the night, awakening one and all to the magic of life itself. This is a mission that must be accomplished, and you're the one who can help us with it, okay? Divine masculine, divine feminine. It's a part of the, the divine plan. It's a part of your mission. And so that means you need to have absolute faith in the plan. Your heart's desire. If you're on this twin flame journey, you're a divine feminine or divine masculine on this twin flame journey, then, you know, it should be a part of your plan. This divine journey should be a part of your plan. Okay? It should be a, a clear plan. And if it's not, then you're not doing the work or you're not totally connected to divine. Those are the things you may need to work on. Okay? But this is an undying love here. The love you have shared is eternal. Okay? Spells can be broken, but divine connections are forever. Okay? Okay? That's a part of the plan. And, you know, this is my Beyonce card. If you like it, then you better put a ring on it, right? Indeed, the unawakened has awakened. Right? And, uh, let's see. When it comes to the matters of the heart, your help is here. It's all around you and also inside you. Your inner wisdom may seem 
quieted by a pain that you feel. Yet be assured that the healing you're undergoing is swift and efficient. Okay? Highly protected. In this divine connection, you are healing. Okay? And you're healing your divine partner. Even if it's in the 5D right now. Okay? Be patient with yourself. Treat yourself as you would any aligning person. Okay? Get yourself out into the world when you can. When this quarantine is over, what we're talking about here. In the meantime, you can take those outings to the park or, you know, wherever you can get out. And be with nature. Get outside. Nature is a great healer. <clears throat> Indeed. Spend time among the forest and the trees as well as the plants and the animals and you, reg and you will regain a foothold upon the planet. You'll revive your sense of spirit and your desire to tread among the living once again. Let it go so it can flow because it's unfolding, okay? And if you, you know... Exert your own will instead of the divine plan's will, then you will go off path. You will miss your fresh start. Okay? You will miss your divine gifts. Right? Triple eight. Remember what we said about that? Yeah, well, we'll read that in the very last. Matt, the situation will be handled in a fair, just manner. Let me suggest another definition of fairness. It is when all parties involved surrender their personal agendas in favor for the greater good for the entirety of the group. This requires trust in the wisdom that of the whole plan. When it comes to matters of disputes, attacks are usually based on fears, okay, misunderstandings, and those, you know, amplify the hurt when it's brought back up or triggered. Okay, just let it go. Surrender your attachment to any specific outcome. Direct your holy will towards the plan. Okay? To fix whatever is broken. To move you in the right direction. To offer you guidance. Let the pieces fall into place and the plan unfold in its harmonious, divine, timed plan, uh, manner. Okay? Let things resolve itself. Don't resist. Because what you resist persists, right? If you don't resist it anymore, things can end harmoniously for all you know and you can move forward. Don't overthink it, right? Allow yourself to have this fresh start. That's what we're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. The unawakened has awakened. Right? You know, a fresh start has begun. All right, that's what I got. So... I hope this is resonating with you. If you like what you see in here, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so we can continue to move forward and navigate through this twin flame journey, reach our goals, sacred union, and, you know, as a collective, you know, bring our missions together to reach our ultimate goal, right? And that's not sacred union. That's healing the world. So on that note, we are the world, right? We are. We're in this together, whether we're apart or not. No matter if we're apart, we're in this together. That's what I meant to say. Until next time, take good care. Thanks for being here, you guys. Bye-bye.